Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at the tequila virus. This is another one of my favorites that I've never gotten to work properly before, but now I've finally gotten a setup that actually works for this virus. So we're going to be taking a look at it. This was actually quite widespread in Europe, which makes it one of my favorite because it was actually out in the wild. People were commonly infected with this virus and had experience with it. And it appeared in 1991 and actually has some author information left in the virus itself, which we'll be taking a look at. So we'll go ahead and run the virus, and it is now present in memory. What it's done right there is infect the master boot record, and basically installed itself there, so that every time you reboot it will take control and will infect all EXE files and all floppy disks used in the system. So we'll go ahead and infect a few EXE files here. Uh, it avoids infecting files with either the letters SC or V in the name, and this is done to prevent infecting common antivirus utilities at the time like McAfee's Scan or Microsoft's vSafe. So, we ran mem, we'll run check disk, we'll actually see, oh, we don't see it yet, I guess we have to fix a few more files, but tequila will actually cause a bunch of allocation errors, file allocation errors, as it uh, improperly infects them, and basically makes an error when you search for those files. So if you try to run check disk with the slash f flag, which is fix, it will attempt to fix those errors, which will lead to uh, massive data corruption. So we'll go ahead and run a few more files. So, nothing too major here. Okay. So I've got an infect in a few files, so now we'll go ahead and take a look at the payload of Tequila. It activates four months after the first infection, so we'll change the date to June 2nd, 1996. And we'll go ahead and restart. Wait for the computer to boot up here make sure there's nothing in the floppy disk drive. There was. You were gonna try and infect my virus disk, weren't you? Not this time, virus. Alright. Takes just a little bit to get it back in. And now that we've booted four months after the initial infection, we will see the virus payload, which happens on the fourth execution of any infected file. So we'll go ahead and list just exe files really quick in this directory listing. And let's see, what's a really basic program we can run? We can run M386. So we'll just run that. And on this run, there we go. Sorry about the uh, refresh rate once again. But this is the tequila virus's payload. And you'll notice in the top left corner, there's actually an instruction in assembly language, which we will be taking a look at. So as it says key to go on, you press enter, it'll give control back to the DOS prompt. And it's a very um, basic representation of a fractal. So if we do another directory listing, we'll notice the text is white instead of gray, as it's adopted the color at the bottom of the Mendel brought fractal. But remember, there was that assembly instruction on the machine, on the uh, screen for us there. So if we go ahead and enter debug mode, we can write a short assembly program to tell us what it's telling us to look for. So let's see, I've got it written down on a note here, so we go to move, AX, oops, can't type. It's FE03, and we run int21, and then just adopt a little more code in here, thanks to my friend William for pointing this out to me. This will actually get us back to the MS-DOS prompt. 4C00 and A21. This will cause the machine not to hang after we run the program. And this is all we need to write in an assembly. We'll go ahead and run it. And we get this printout from the virus's author. Welcome to T Tequila's latest production. Contact T Tequila PO Box 543 slash 6312 in Switzerland. Loving thoughts to Linda, beer and tequila forever. And one last thing about the virus. Well actually if uh, run the payload every month after the four month date. So basically on the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh anniversary month of the infection, we will see the payload. So we'll go ahead and look at it one more time just because it's cool. You don't often see mathematical things, I guess you could say, in viruses. So it's neat to look at fractals. We'll go ahead and run mem four times. And here we go. There we go. 
And that is about it for the Tequila Dos Virus. Thanks for watching. Actually, one more thing. If we try to run check disk right now. There we go. See, we have some file allocation errors in all those files that we infected. So if we try to run check disk slash F to fix these errors, we'll see if it corrupts them. I've never tried this before. Let's see. Yes, I still want to run check disk. I don't like scan disk. Alright. Let's see if it did anything. Does M386 work? Oh, I guess it still works. So I guess we were lucky and check disk did not corrupt all of our programs that were infected. But we are still infected with the tequila DOS virus, so running any of those programs would lead to reinfection of the system. So that is really about it for tequila this time, and thanks for watching.